We're gonna go past Tiger Woods estate. We're gonna go past the Tommy Hilfiger estate. Oh, hey guys, thank you for stopping by. I didn't know you were gonna come meet me up here in South Tahoe today. Thank you so much. Hey, and this one, I'm gonna give you guys a really, really special explanation of South Lake Tahoe. You know, I did a video about this last year and it was one of my second most popular videos, but I'm getting questions all the time from people that wanna know, hey, what the heck is the difference between Lake Tahoe, California and Lake Tahoe, Nevada? Make sure you stick around for this video because I'm actually gonna give you guys a special little view. We're getting up in a chopper, baby. It's gonna be an incredible video, stick around. Stick with me in this video. As you guys already know, this channel is gonna give you everything related to the greater Reno area when it comes to real estate, things to do, what it's like to work, eat, sleep, and play up here. My name is Logan on Williamson. I represent Williamson Professional Real Estate Sales. And if you have not already done so, please comment, like, subscribe. It helps this channel reach more people. And thank you for stopping around. It's gonna be a cool video, so make sure you check out the whole thing. Now, as you can see, I'm over on the south side of the lake. This is the boat dock right over in South Shore. And we're gonna do a pretty cool thing today. I'm gonna to take you guys up in a helicopter. We're gonna work with our friends over at Tahoe Helicopter, and I'm gonna show you guys a pretty cool view of Lake Tahoe, give you guys an explanation of some of the different landmarks up in South Lake over on the California side of Tahoe compared to what is different over on the north side, up in Sand Harbor, up in Tahoe City. I know that a lot of you are looking or considering property up here in Lake Tahoe. And you've got to know a couple of the differences. One of the major things obviously being that there's no state income tax over on the Nevada side. Property taxes are fairly minimal compared to what you're going to experience over on this side of Lake Tahoe, which is the California side. Whenever people come to South Lake Tahoe, they wanna know, hey, why is some of the water light blue and then the water gets dark blue the further out? Well, it's because on the south side of Lake Tahoe, it's only about 10 to 13 feet deep all the way out till roughly about 150, 250, up to 300 yards out. And then it completely drops off into a pretty, uh, pretty deep shelf. If you didn't know, Lake Tahoe is roughly 15, 1600 feet deep. All right, hey now, there are a lot of you that have a ton of questions related to Lake Tahoe. You wanna know the, the facts, the fun facts, the trivia, all the history, everything there is to know about Lake Tahoe. Now, I could tell you a lot of different things. I could tell you that Lake Tahoe is big enough to where all the water in Lake Tahoe could cover the entire state of California, 14 inches deep, all the way across the state. I could also tell you that the lake is over 1,600 feet deep and at its deepest part, it's 92 feet below the surface level of Carson City, way down the mountain in the valley. It's incredible. It's the second deepest lake in the United States, right after Crater Lake. What a lot of people don't know is the elevation, over 6,200 feet up here in the great Sierra Nevada mountain range. I will tell you that Lake Tahoe is absolutely gorgeous. It's incredibly blue, as you all know. It's a very, very special place. There are 63 streams that flow into Lake Tahoe. There's only one that flows out, which is the Truckee River, which flows all the way down into and through Reno, all the way down into Pyramid Lake, which is northeast of Reno. Pretty incredible. Now, this video is not gonna be like my last video. We're not gonna discuss all the details, the facts about Lake Tahoe, California versus Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Instead, what I wanna do is I wanna give you guys the aerial view of luxury property. I wanna show you some of the luxury property up here on the, well, technically down on the south side, the California side of Lake Tahoe, but all the way up the east side into the Nevada side, we're gonna go past Tiger Woods Estate. We're gonna go past the Tommy Hilfiger Estate. We're gonna go past a really famous global arms dealer he who shall not be named. We're gonna go through the private community of Glenbrook up in Northeast Tahoe near Incline Village. And we're gonna take you all the way up the East Coast of Tahoe in the air. You're gonna see the entire lake. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. Okay, so we're on the backside of the South Lake Tahoe Airport. I'm here with our pilot for the day. Marius, how you doing, man? Excellent. So you can see our bird behind us. We're gonna take you guys up the east side of the lake. If the wind isn't too bad, we're gonna go all the way up to Cave Rock. But like I said, we're here with our friends at Tahoe Helicopter. Let's go have some fun.
Hope you found this content valuable. As you know, I try to give as much content that is of value to you guys as I possibly can. I was born and raised up here in the greater Reno area, and I wanna get you guys all the information that you're looking for when it comes to anything related to real estate in the greater Reno area. If you have questions on restaurant recommendations, maybe you're coming up for a weekend, you're looking at hotels, places to stay, if you wanna know what the rental market is doing, what you can anticipate if you are interested in buying or selling property up here in this area, I wanna to talk to you. My name is Logan Allen Williamson. I represent Williamson Professional Real Estate Sales. I'm a local real estate agent up here in Reno. I wanna to talk to you. I've got clients coming from all over the world that are buying property up here in Reno. I chat with them and I absolutely love it. I can help you execute a plan in this tough real estate market, but the first step is to reach out to me. Call, text, email, smoke signal, carrier pigeon, you name it, doesn't matter. Just make sure you reach out. I'm here to help. Can't wait to talk to you soon.